Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the fuel tank grommet on your string trimmer. I'll start with the incoming fuel line. I'll apply some two-cycle oil to the end of the fuel line. This will make it easier to insert it through the grommet. I'll pull the necessary amount of line through the grommet. I'll apply some of the two-cycle oil to the plastic nipple. And install the return line. I'll place the fuel line clamp over the end of the fuel line so there's about an eighth of an inch of fuel line protruding past it. And then I'll push this whole assembly onto the nipple. A little more oil onto the other end of the nipple and I can push it back into the grommet. Now reinstall the breather, the fuel filter, and the necessary clamps. Now the fuel line assembly is ready to go back into the tank. I'll apply some of that two cycle oil to the grommet. I'll drop the filter into the tank and I'll place the grommet so the fuel lines align with both the carburetor and in this case so the vent line aligns with the pocket on the housing. And then I'll push the grommet into the tank. And again, you may need to use a small screwdriver to work the grommet into the tank opening. and I'll wipe up any excess oil. Now I can reconnect the fuel lines and the throttle cable to the carburetor. Before I secure the carburetor to the engine, I'll inspect the old gasket. If the gasket is torn or ripped in any way, you'll want to go ahead and replace it. In fact, it's not a bad idea to simply replace any gasket when you remove it. I'll insert the screws from the air filter base through the carburetor, through the gasket, and then align the screws with the isolator and secure this assembly. I'll reinstall the air filter.
and finish by installing the air filter cover. And that's all it takes to install a new fuel tank grommet under string trimmer. 